Our paper describes the design and implementation of a Capture Time tool that aims to help users notice potential clutter in their photos. Our eyes are drawn to regions of high contrast, to light on dark and dark on light. Decluttering an image means drawing the eyes directly to the subject, meaning we want contrast near the subject to clarify it. So this is called subject background separation, and we want minimal contrast elsewhere, especially around the image border. This is called image border flicker. Photographers recommend a number of methods to be able to more easily see the contrast in an image. For example, they recommend squinting at the image to see a blurred and higher contrast version of the image, or looking at the image in grayscale to focus on the contrast without aspects of color. On the right, the photographer draws a line around the subject. Areas where contrast is maybe too low between the subject and the background are shown as gaps. We create this outlining as an overlay directly in the camera, also extending it to contrast along the image borders. Here is the resulting tool in action. By default, the app shows the edges around just the subject and image borders with a black background. The user can adjust the slider at the top to bring in more or less of the image color. They can use the toggle to bring in the remaining edges in the subject in the background. They can also turn off the visualization by holding a finger down anywhere on the screen or using the toggle on the bottom right. Since we needed to run remote studies, we had participants select two different locations with subjects of three different scales, small, medium, and large. Thus, participants completed a total of six photo tasks, three at each of two locations of their choosing. Here are a few participant photos for each task to give you a sense of the differences in scale for these tasks. As noted before, photographers sometimes suggest looking at a photo in grayscale to focus on overall contrast. In fact, many mentioned that they currently use grayscale in their camera even for taking color photos. Therefore, we compare our tool against this method that photographers currently employ as our baseline. We ran remote studies over Zoom with 18 participants to understand if the tool would help users declutter photos and if users felt creative while using the tool. Users experienced two different conditions of the tool, one with a grayscale overlay and a second highlighting edges along the subject and image borders. For each photo, we asked participants to self-assess them based on subject background separation and image border flicker. We actually did not see a significant improvement in overall quality in terms of these principles. However, participants did believe that the tool is helpful for the task of capturing clear and decluttered images. It also made them more confident in their ability to address the decluttering principles of subject background separation and image border flicker. Participants described feeling like they could take fewer photos because they could be more confident in each photo that they took. Here, you can see this participant refines the camera angle until the edges in the overlay looks as she wants. She's watching the hook on the top left making sure it doesn't end up in her shot. Telling me is a potentially a distractor in the, in the photo. And so I'm trying to angle my phone so that it doesn't catch that in there. Um, yep. In addition to encouraging confidence, we found that the tool further encouraged creativity through exploring the space in new ways. Here, you can see how an unexpected edge highlight encourages the participant to explore different backgrounds and compositions. This participant notices an unwanted edge at the bottom of the plant from the stovetop. So she tries out different camera angles to remove the stove, but notices the dark panel in the background, which she doesn't want. She turns the camera back towards the white wall, but notices the high contrast object at the top left entering her shot. An interaction that we didn't expect that emerged from the studies was that participants used the tool's ability to identify subjects to assess how someone might view their photos. This participant observes that the tool jumps back and forth in its highlighting of a subject. She interprets this to mean that there is no clear subject in her photo and confirms that this is consistent with her own perception. Therefore, she tries to find a different way to capture this room with a more clear subject. This participant, on the other hand, had a slightly different interpretation of the lack of a consistent subject, or in this case, no identified subject. He decided that since the large-scale task shouldn't have a single focal subject, the lack of yellow aligned with his goals. Participants were able to interpret our overlays freely to help guide their exploration of the space to create decluttered photos.